My name is Angelique Papulia and I play the role of Elizabeth in the film The Miracle of the Sargasso Sea. And I am Silas Zumerkas and I am the director of The Miracle of the Sargasso Sea where Angelique Papulia plays Elizabeth. Άκουσα ότι στο μεσολόγιο ο διοικητής είναι έτοιμος να πάρει σύνταξη. Δεν είναι φάμιλο των σπουδών σου, αλλά αν σε ενδιαφέρει πες το μου. Είναι ίσως μόνο μεγάλος. Τι λες? Τόσο μεγάλος που κουνήθηκαν τα θεμέλια της φυλακής. Μην της θεολογικής το παιδί. Άνοιξαν οι πόρτες. Και τα δεσμά των φυλακισμένων λύθηκαν. Και ο δεγμοφυλάκας ξύπνησε. Και όταν είδε τις πόρτες της φυλακής ανοιχτές, έβγαλε το σπαθί του και γυρεύε να σκοτωθεί. Hi, welcome to the 33rd Teddy Award. I'm Jean Borbobac, and we're going to discuss the movie The Miracle of the Sargasso Sea with director Silas Tumerkas and leading actress Angeliki Papuya. Welcome, hello, hello guys. It's very nice to have you here at the Teddy Award. Yeah. Um, my first question would be how did the whole story come about? What was it that had drawn you to tell this story? Uh, well, the, we, the story began by the began from uh, began from the eels. Actually, the inspiration mm -hmm. was the story of the eels. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that was the first thing that triggered a bit the you know our creativity there. Uh -huh. And uh, then we dis we kind of wanted to create these two women that would have a similar journey as yeah. the, as the eels have, but, uh, which means that. Uh, a journey that you go from the sweet water to the salt water, you transform your whole body and you mm. travel for miles and miles until you reach something that, uh, you know, a paradisial place like Sargasso. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, so there are these two women in the film indeed, um, and you emphasize that you wanted to create these, these two women. Why was it important for you that it would be two females? I don't know. Uh, it, uh, it was natural. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, very natural choice. That uh, I mean, I wanted. Uh, I felt like uh, this police woman would be a, a fantastic woman uh, to yeah. portray and to create. To be this very complete character who is, uh, you know, very aggressive, bossy, vulnerable, self-destructive. Uh, all that yeah. elements. I, yeah. I, all my in my imagination was that these two women would be. I mm -hmm. never thought of it in a different yeah, way. Right. And how was it for you to portray such a complex character? We really see many, many sides of mm -hmm. Elizabeth and it's really, it's almost like unimaginable how so many things can fit into, into, yeah. into one person. Yeah, that was very interesting for me yeah. when I first read, read the script to find a way to um, depict all these different charact uh, characteristics and all these different qualities that Elizabeth has because yeah. she is also um, very funny and she's Definitely. full of You're humor and yeah. she's direct also and cynical but at the yeah. same time very vulner vulnerable and yeah. self-destructive and bossy and aggressive but also you know, self inflicting mm -hmm. yeah. and oh, yeah, all those qualities yeah after a while uh, I realized that I had to find a, a balance and that was the difficult thing yeah. or that was you know yeah. very demanding how to to portray all, all, all those qualities but yeah. at the same time not you know not, not, not having something that would be on, on the top and yeah. try to balance yeah. both, both are these characters, both Elizabeth and Rita, are very, very strong female characters who ultimately, regardless of all the pain and all the turmoil that they had to go through, they at some point take 
their own fate into their own hands. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was very refreshing to see and it was really a powerful uh, portrayal of femininity. Uh, what mm -hmm. was your take on that? Um. You, you know, in the beginning, uh, Elizabeth is somehow paralyzed. You know, she's yeah. like, she cannot do anything and she's trapped yeah. in this small provincial town. And, you know, she's very lonely and isolated. And, and then gradually she, she makes an effort and she struggles to escape from this yeah. reality and, you know, change her life. And, and also, I liked a lot that the fact that these two women communicate in a very subtle and mysterious way Definitely. and it's so unconscious yeah. and, and they don't, Elizabeth, I don't think that she even understands or realizes the connection to Rita mm. in a logical way, yeah. mm. not at all, it's, it's yeah. somehow a sequence of, of events that, yeah. that that bring them together and that unite them yeah. and that that's something that, that I find very yeah. attractive in, in, in yeah. the script. And the other thing for me something that connects them is that they are both two women that have been beaten down by patriarchal figures. Exactly. Uh, Elizabeth in the beginning she, she has the 60 year old uh, asshole at the police station yeah. that sends her away like, noth like nothing and uh, condemns her actually into this small town yeah. away from her potential, like to rot there. Yeah. Uh, the same happens, with Rita is always on the shadow of that uh, very flamboyant uh, brother who sings and, uh, and everything, and he's like uh, the local pop star of Eurovision type. Yeah, it, it that that vibe yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he has her, he, he, she's always in his shadow. And uh, this, these are actually, you know, two very different uh, patriarchal faces. Yeah. And I think that. Uh, these women, uh, after a period of big numbness through the subconscious way that uh, Angeliki was telling before, they, they, they find a way to revolt. Yeah, and to reclaim. And to reclaim. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about this connection a bit because it comes really in a very mysterious way. It sort of manifests through these, these uh, extremely fun and, and beautifully composed dream sequences. Yeah. Uh, how did these come about? Well, I got, you know, the film is a thriller, okay? Uh, well, that's right. one thing. Uh, yeah. But uh, my main goal was to create this uh, very active and vibrant dream space around mm -hmm. uh, these this two women and the whole community. I, I wanted animals, I wanted, uh, you know, the, the biblical uh, sequences, everything that kind of moves in their subconscious, I wanted it to mani manifest in uh, every here and uh, around yeah. them in the film. Yeah. And to me that was the core of my, of my work, uh, to make this dream space alive mm -hmm. and uh, communicative and mirroring and vibrant and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it's as if they, they, share, yeah, they share the, the, the same dream space and they, they, and they wish to, to live in in, yeah. in, in that kind of reality, in a totally different reality from the one that they are experiencing. Yeah. And you, you cannot tell which one dreams what, and yeah. this is also uh, something right. and really not, unique. And, and yeah. not only them share the same uh, dream space, I share the same dream space with them okay. in the film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah total. Yeah. No, no, it's because it's a, it's a way, it's, it's a triangle. Yeah, yeah, that, that's very interesting. Um, I was wondering that the film challenges traditional tropes of being a woman, tradi traditional tropes of connecting with each other, um, and it also surprises you at moments where you wouldn't really expect, like it kind of takes on a certain pace and then you, you start to believe that you are going to to one direction but then it turns completely and I thought that this is quite a particularly queer way of telling and a queer approach to to construct a narrative do you think that that makes totally. sense yeah <laughs> totally and it's pretty listen this is a film that works with gray zones yeah in, in everything 
Uh, there's gray zones in the sexuality, gray zones in the in the in the people's in the characters' perception yeah. of themselves, of their gender, of their gender role. Yeah. Of the all that is very fluent and fluid really. in the film yeah. throughout. The same thing happens not only with the sexuality, but happens with faith. Mm -hmm. The film uh, goes to you know to very faithful moments, to blasphemous moments in, yeah. the, in the same waving. And I think this is essentially, it's, it's for, for sure a, que a queer way of, uh, of having a, these characters walk and move and surround them in this yeah. film. Uh, I, I don't know, and I'm very, how to say, I think that in, in this film, I, I managed to really free the characters from, mm -hmm. from anything that has to do with the strict identities. Yeah. And I'm very happy about that because yeah. that's the way I am. And that's the way I want, I feel that we all are. Yeah, they definitely surpass categories mm. for sure. Yeah. This is, that's what you felt as well? Yeah, about well, with your uh, character? Yeah, of course. It's yeah. very obvious <laughs> that yeah. it's not about, you know, gender yeah. or a man or a woman yeah. or it's, it could be, you know. Yeah. Uh, and this is also what I, I, I think it's, you know, very interesting to, to play. Mm. It's, it's, you know, you, it's not so uh, often that yeah. characters like this one are yeah. written. So it's, yeah. for me, it was um, a unique experience to be able to play such an open, open character yeah. in terms of identity yeah. and yeah. sex and gender. Yeah. And yeah. It's yeah, extremely, yeah. you know, complicated. And, yeah. and, and then, probably in some ways liberating as well. And liberating, of course. No, it's very fun also in the film how people, different characters get fascinated with another. For example, yeah, yeah you know, like uh, suddenly the concentration goes extremely, yeah. like uh, the sexual uh, concentration, like uh, this Absolutely. travels a lot in the film. Yeah. Uh, the one character loves the one, then the other, then the, and this yeah. is never, never has a kind of a, how to say, a, a gender logic, uh, very strict no, one. No, it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a sea yeah. where these people are kind of swim there. Yeah, uh, through it, which they, yeah. Try to reach that paradise, yeah. which and they either reach exists it. or not. And they reach it for a second. I mean, this. Uh, I mean, even in the in the orgy sequences, yeah. when uh, after the after we see them in their the brutal outcome, yeah. in the beginning, it's a it's truly a paradise. It's a paradise life. Yeah. Well, thank you so much no, for you. for answering our questions, thank and you. I wish you all the best for thank the rest you. of the festival. Thank you. And hopefully, we will see each other very soon. Thank yes. You. Thank, thank you so you much. Very much.